Hi. So, like, I'm getting completely fed up of all these, like, YouTube tutorials, tutorials about, like, how to do your makeup and your hair for the festive season, right? So, I decided I'm going to make my own hair and makeup tutorial for Christmas. And, uh, like, no products, right? I mean, makeup brushes, you don't even need them, right? That's the biggest money-making scam I ever heard. All you need are the two tools that you have. Love, love, Ella, hey, do. That's it, right? Hand, shandy. That's it. That's all you need, right? So, I'm going to get started now. Um, I'm going to start my makeup, so I'm just going to put this on there, just keep my hair back, right? And um, the first product I'm using, it's, um, sorry, they normally do this on the thing. Um, it's called uh, WD-40. And I actually read somewhere that this is very good for, like, your ease and joints. I know I'm always talking, so, you know, like, your, uh, your jawbone here. I'm just going to give a little spritz that. Yeah, I can feel that loosening out already. Next step then is moisturiser, right? If you don't have moisturiser, don't be run out by the expensive one. Just use what you have at home. Um, I like to use this. Um, basically, it's just an old dollop of cooking oil. It does the exact same thing. Moisturises your face, not a bother, right? So you just put a little bit on. Rub it in all over. That's your face then primed, ready to go. So the foundation I'm going to be using, um, it's called Pan Stick. Um, this is a cork tradition. Basically, it's like it's, it's as popular now as the Hollybone cork. Everyone uses this. So I like to use about this much. And the way you put this on, well, the way I like to put it on, right, I do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three on the nose. One across the tash, two across the chin, and then I like to like get creative on the forehead. Can you see that? That's my name. So basically then once you've that on, hand shandy, rub it up, rub. Roll rub it all in. Into the brows down the eyes and all right across your tash line. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to blend it because this is what we like now, just these lines down here. So the next thing we're going to do then is just, this is the only time I'm ever going to use the brush, right? Just use a bit of bronzer because I'm not orange enough yet, so just scoop, scoop, scoop. Now this is called contouring, right? So you just do Another dollop. And then across your T-zone. 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 And then all over, right? Next step then is your eyeshadow. Um, today I'm going to be using this one. Um, I got that on my holidays there. Um, I'd say it was eight years ago now. And no brushes again, just use your finger. And I like to do this under the brow. It's kind of a pink. So just rub, rub, rub. Then I have my other one then, which is a Rimmel. Lovely colours in that as well. Again, use your finger. And then don't worry, you know, if it's not picture perfect, because it really doesn't have to be. It's just, I mean, we're going for the kind of all natural look here. So just dab it on. Now, next thing, mascara. Now, when you're putting on mascara, right, you literally just do this. And what I find works best is if you stick your tongue out when you're putting on mascara. I know I'll be saying she's going off her game, but it works, look. And it makes it easier to put it on. And I always do this now when I'm putting on my makeup. Like my fella now, he calls that the aerial for my brain. Uh. I actually hate putting on mascara. Oh, I always get the gawks in case you poke yourself in the eye. Right, so that's that. Next then is your brows. So you're just going to use a little brush. And as you know then, if you read all the fashion magazines, the thicker, the better. I can't really see that there now, but... I'm trying my best here now to do it without a mirror. I'm really freehanding. Uh, 
Not actually doing a bad job, though, for freehanding, to be fair to me. Fabulous. The most important thing then, which I'm after forgetting, of course, is the eyeliner. So, like, if people use liquid eyeliners, I like to use the pencil. So, all you do, under there, cross the lid, and when you get to the end, you just, oh, flick. Same here. On top, and when you get to the end, oh, flick. That's lovely now. So the lips, I'm going to be using this lip uh, pencil. And I want to have big fat lips, right? So unfortunately, I don't naturally have them. So what I'm going to do is just start here. And like... Do like mucky eye lips. Oh, sorry, there now. Ah, lovely. And I mean, if you want to, you could just leave it like this. But like, I'd like now to put on um, just a bit of lipstick just to jazz it up a bit as well. I mean, fabulous. So there you go. That's your face done now for your Christmas party night out, right? No need for all this bollocks of taking about 20 years to do your makeup. Next up now is the hair, right? I'm going to take off my antlers there. Now, my hair now hasn't even been brushed right since morning. All you do is shake it out. One product I will be using um, is this. This is a godsend. It's dry shampoo. Because, like, I haven't washed my hair at all. So all you do, into the roots. Into the roots, into the roots. Basically, spray it all over, right? Scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunch, 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 scrunch. Give it a shake. Find out them of your part in this. Like mine's kind there to the side. And there you go. Your hair is done, like massive. Then to just finish off the look. I like to use a bit of Febreze. Just literally. Oh, spritz your face. And this works really well as well because if you're out hobby hunting on a night out and if you're going in for the mall like with a fella and he'll be just like, oh my God, she tastes massive and there's a lovely smell off her and that's all down to the Febreze. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't be fooled, don't be getting caught now buying into the gimmicks where you need makeup, brushes and all the shitty makeup. Any little thing you have at home will do and I mean you too can look this good for your Christmas party in under 10 minutes. Have a great Christmas. Bye.